Hey guys, it's Ron with Gem Lux. Uh, so you've purchased your brand new dredge boom kit. Uh, I'm going to go over a few of the components that come with that complete kit that you've just purchased. Now keeping in mind that if you have some of these components already and you just need to purchase some of these products separately, uh, you can do that or uh, like we're going to show you, you will get a complete kit ready to fish uh, with our dredge boom kit and have everything you need to, to get started. So first of all, um, you've purchased uh, a brand new LP 12 volt reel, whether it be the variable, variable speed reel or the single speed reel, um, that's totally up to you depending on what your preferences are. Um, you will come with a LP uh, reel cover to cover the reel up. And very importantly, um, we'll talk about a few minutes, it's going to come with some instructions for your reel. Uh, these things are very important to take a few minutes to read over as we'll go over the electrical, electrical components uh, of that reel and how to wire it properly. Um, so that you don't avoid any warranty issues uh, with the reel. As we come back over, uh, you're going to get a uh, rigging kit uh, for the dredge itself, which is going to come with a spool of mono, uh, the return line. You'll get a Harkin 40 block pulley and a Harkin 20 pulley, uh, some crimps, corkscrew swivel, and two uh, stainless steel gate clips. Also included in your kit, you're going to get uh, an electrical or a wiring kit of uh, for your reel if you don't already have that in your boat. If you have a new boat, uh, obviously you have uh, the option of getting that wired into the boat and getting set up properly. If you don't, um, you're certainly more than welcome to do the work yourself uh, with this kit and going over the directions uh, that come with the LP. Uh, this has a great uh, wiring diagram in this kit to show you exactly how to wire that properly or you can go to their website uh, and they'll give some good information on that as well. So you're going to get uh, a spool of number six uh, gauge wire. It's going to have the female Hubble plug, 30 amp plug, a 30 amp flush mount breaker. You'll get the waterproof cover plate uh, to go over top of the box, a uh, waterproof box, uh, a collar to go at the bottom of the box to feed the wire up into, uh, into the box, and then the uh, lug ends that go on the battery uh, for the wire. Like I say, if you're uncomfortable with this kind of work, uh, find somebody in your local area that can take care of that for you and get it wired up properly. Uh, that's so that you don't have any downtime uh, fishing because what you don't want to do uh, is do something and, um, and have a problem with your reel and take away any downtime you guys uh, for fishing for having a failure with your wiring. Also included with that kit is going to be a number four AFCO bent butt. Uh, this is the large. Uh, this is the one that we will be selling that will come in your kit. Uh, it's very easy to use. You'll actually just take uh, the dredge boom itself and the ferrule will slip right in here and lock in place and then you'll just be able to twist the collet on and you'll be all set. Also included uh, in the directions for the LP, it's going to walk you through how to properly mount um, the reel itself to the rod butt. So just take a few minutes to make sure you read that and mount that properly uh, onto the reel so that you don't have any issues out on the water. Okay, so now you've seen everything in the kit. Let's walk on out to the warehouse and we'll show you guys how we like to rig up our dredge boom. All right, so guys, we're out here in the warehouse. Uh, we've unboxed our LP reel. I want to show you really fast how to get the rod butt mounted on the reel, uh, a few things about the rigging kit, and then we're going to put it over here on the test stand and show you how to rig up the boom to the reel and all of the uh, rigging kit to go with it and get you all set up. So first what you're going to do um, is take the rod butt and we took the two collars off and the reel seat off of the butt. Make sure these two brackets on here are loose enough that you can slide the reel seat up in here like that. And just kind of eyeball it now to make sure you kind of have it centered out uh, on top of the reel. And then we're going to slide the reel seat back on and then the two locking rings back on. But be sure on the locking rings you'll see there's two sides to the ring. There's a side that has a flat surface and the side, one that does and one has a raised flat surface. You want to make sure that these two pieces meet uh, on those uh, raised flat surfaces like that. So we're going to string one of them on for now and just kind of get it hand tight. And like I say, just kind of eyeball it to make sure you got it centered up good. You'll know a little bit better once you get it in the rod holder. That looks good. We're going to take our other one and string it on or put it on. You just get it hand tight. And then if you have a strap wrench, that's actually the best thing to tighten these up with. Uh, instead of trying to put a pair of vice grips or something because you don't want to eat that aluminum up and it'll look terrible. So just get them hand tight for the purposes now and then you can tighten it up later. And then the LP comes with uh, an Allen key or an Allen wrench 
uh, for tightening up these pieces. So something good you probably want to keep on hand on the boat in case you need it. Seems like an Allen key is always something hard to find uh, when you're looking for it. So then all we're going to do is just get these tight. For the purposes of this video, we're just going to get these hand tight. Uh, if you'll read the instructions that come with the LP, it's going to tell you to put them to 15 foot-pounds of torque uh, to get these set. All right, so we got that set. We're ready to go. Next, let's go over and I'll show you a little bit on the rigging kit, um, the stuff that came with it and what we're going to do with it. So as I said before, <clears throat> excuse me, the rigging kit's going to come with uh, a return line. You're going to have your two pulleys, a 40 and a 20. Then you're going to have your corkscrew swivel. Uh, we really like this corkscrew swivel. Um, this is what's actually going to attach to the weight in front of your dredge. And as you'll see with this corkscrew, uh, once you string this on uh, and get it on to the weight itself, um, it's just a better way than the snap swivel. That way you don't have to worry about the snap coming undone, straightening it out on you and pulling off, and then you lose all of your tackle. So we really suggest this. This is what comes in our kit. And then also you're going to get the two uh, spring-loaded gate clips uh, along with enough mono. Uh, to make your two tail pieces and you'll have a lot of extra uh, to keep on board if you want to string up outriggers or whatever you like to do with it. So <clears throat> with all of this stuff, we're going to make two, two pulley systems. The first one is going to be with this number 40 pulley uh, with just about a six, seven inch piece of mono to the first gate clip. This is what's actually going to be uh, clipped onto the boom itself uh, to run the main line through it. And then the next piece <clears throat> that'll go on will be uh, what we call sometimes the pulley or the tail piece. Um, this as well has a, the number 20 pulley, same little section um, of mono on it, and then the corkscrew swivel. Um, with both of these things, <clears throat> these vary. Everybody has uh, a preference on the length. They like them. Some like them shorter. Uh, some like them longer. We just went with this length. It works for us. If you like something different, obviously you're welcome to do it the way you like to. So we're going to take this set it over in the uh, test stand here in a second and we're going to show you how to put all of this together and make it work. So we're over here at the test stands and we'll show you guys how to what order we want to put these pulleys on because this is very important. So the first one we're going to put on is the biggest pulley. The number 40 is going to go on first. All we're going to do is put it on there. Second one being the smallest pulley, the number 20 pulley. Drop it on and then we're just going to crimp uh, on the end of this this stainless gate clip. We'll make sure we get this one tight because there's a lot of pressure on this one. This is a pretty important piece of the, of the system. So we've got this crimped on. Uh, those will stay right there. So normally uh, when you were fishing or riding out, uh, what you can do is just take this clip uh, and run it back on top of here and just clip it on so it keeps everything uh, nice when you're running. Um, you've also got these clips. Um, you can clip these two together. You can clip them on here somewhere. Um, you can put a rubber band or a small piece of mono and crimp a loop on here uh, in order to hold your corkscrew swivel on there. Whatever you like to do, um, how you feel comfortable securing that uh, for the ride out. Uh, next we're going to put uh, we're going to put the boom on. So we're just going to undo this collar, extend it all the way out. It'll stop when it gets to the end point, and then just take it and simply twist it down and get it tight. These two uh, rings right here will swing all the way around 360 uh, on the top and the bottom, so you don't have to worry about getting the orientation right uh, so that when you put it, uh, the ferrule uh, into, or the collet, uh, the ferrule, excuse me, uh, into the rod itself. We're going to get it like that. You'll feel it catch on there and then we're just going to take the collet and we're just going to put it down and all it's got to be is hand tight. Don't need to use a strap wrench or anything like that and get it down because at the end of the day you're going to want to be able to undo that uh, and take it off for the ride home. Next piece uh, we're going to put on is, this, is the tether line or safety line. Um, tie back rope uh, for the dredge itself and it's just going to clip on to one of the rings on uh, the double ring here and you take it back on your boat somewhere and uh, preferably the spring cleat or the breast cleat on the boat um, you're going to tie this back um, we give you enough hopefully uh, that you could either cleat it off um, you could tie a bowling in it and put a loop on it just 
just so you can put it on the cleat. Uh, but you want to make sure in the setup that you get a good amount of tension on this uh, to start with uh, when you get it set up. So for the purposes here in the, in the warehouse, we'll just tie it off uh, to the stand here. And so now we've got this set up. I'm going to take the clip off of it. I want to make sure that the line uh, on your spool comes down and you're going to want to thread in between these two stainless pieces, uh, the guides that come off of the um, LP. This is the line winder guide that, that'll guide this line uh, across the spool and make sure that you get it wound on correctly. So you just slide it in there, make sure you got it, clip that over, and then we're going to give a little bit of free spool so we can pull it out. So we'll come out and the biggest pulley with the clip, we're going to clip it. I like to kind of go from the front to the back that way. And then we're going to take, this is going to be the one that goes to your dredge itself or to the weight in front of the dredge. And then our next clip is going to come up here to the top and clip just like that. Now we're set. Now if you were uh, offshore, now you go ahead and clip your dredge on itself. So we're just going to bring it back. We're going to use this sweet cart right here as our dredge um, to get set up just to kind of give you an idea of what it's going to look like. And simply just thread the corkscrew on there like that so you got it set. Yeah. Pull some tension back up on this to get it how you like it. So there's kind of the setup. Now, uh, the last piece that we can use, um, we like this piece uh, as opposed to using the gaff. There's going to be times uh, when you're going to need to be able to get um, that dredge back to the boat, whether to clear grass off of it um, or, or to check your mullet or check your bait, whatever you need to do. Um, so what we've got back here uh, is a return line. And all you're going to do is take the clip end of this and clip it on one of the rings at the bottom right there. And then important, make sure you bring it underneath of your halyard here, coming back up. And then we're just going to unclip this, slide it through the ring, clip it back. And now you've got a, a tether line if you need to pull in, pull the dredge back to the boat to, to service it uh, or change bait out or whatever it is you need to do. Um, so that's it, guys. That's how we got set up. We appreciate it. Um, glad you guys uh, hope you enjoy the product. We've enjoyed making it, and uh, we hope it makes your fishing a whole lot better.